Hello, I'm Miguel, and I want to see beyond the resolution limit of magnetic resonance imaging. As we learned yesterday in our first, in our first talk, in magnetic resonance imaging, we have a resolution limit of around one millimeter. And that is okay for clinical practice. Doctors can diagnose based on it. But what happens if we want to understand how the brain works? What happens if we want to see changes in the brain structures that are happening at a scale lower than a millimeter? What happens if we want to see those changes in living human beings? Well, in my PhD, I'm working in trying to get that information without increasing the resolution of the image. Now, if we look at what is the composition of a, of a, big, of a pixel or a voxel, we see that there are different structures in it. But when we measure them, all we see is the arrangement of all the signals coming from, the, from, from all the from all the subvoxel components. It is mostly like being in a party and listen to all the conversations and music at the, at the same time. It is barely understandable. But what, what, what happened if we could separate each conversation independently from each other? Well, it turns out that the answer is in your mobile phones. These devices, every time you make a phone call, are running a set of algorithms that are called blind source separation algorithms that separates your voice from the background sound, or more generally, they separate sounds. So we can translate those algorithms into MRI data and separate the, the tissue components within a voxel. And it's not that we just can uh, disentangle them, but we can also quantify the physical properties of each tissue component. Now, with blinds or separation, we can dive deeper into the brain tissue structure organization. Thank you very much.